Hi guys, in this video today we're going to make a very simple uh, intro splash screen for your website. So this is what I mean. So if we refresh the page, you'll see we have an intro screen there saying welcome to our website and it disappears after two seconds. Um, we're going to use um, a DOM content loaded event listener and basically this just um, basically triggers an event once all the HTML documents been loaded. It doesn't wait for any kind of CSS. So once the HTML has been loaded, um, it will fire the event and then this page will disappear after two seconds. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. Okay guys, so the first thing we want to do here is we want to go into our index.html file and we're going to add a new div with a class of splash. And then within this div, we'll just put a h1 and we'll just say for now, welcome to my website. You can put anything in here, it could be an image, it could be text, it's up to you really. So I'll we'll save that. Okay, and then what we want to do is just give this a bit of styling. So if we go to styles.css, I'll say dot splash to select the div. And we want this to first thing set the position, and this wants this needs to be fixed so the user can't scroll past this div. Uh, we'll say top null left naught. So that it begins at the top left of the screen. We'll set the width to 100% and the height to 100VH. Uh, we'll have a background color of black. Say black for now. Um, and then we also want, yeah, let's save that. We need to set the Z index as well. So for now, just have 200. So that's in front of everything else. There you go, we'll set the color, text color to white. And we also want to center that, so text align center and vertically as well, so align height. And we'll say just lightly VH for now. Okay, so I think that's it. What next we want to do is I want this text to um, fade in when we load the screen. So we're going to do a keyframe here. So at keyframes, we'll say, just call this fade in. And what we want to do here is two. So we want to set the opacity to uh, one. And then underneath this keyframe, we're going to add a fade in class. So fade in, we'll set the opacity first to null. So you can't see it and then we'll add that keyframe animation we just made so animation say so fade in not point once we can say one second ease in um, and forwards and what this forwards does it just retains the final um, keyframe so it'll set the uh, text to a forward opacity of one here so you'll be able to see it. Um, okay, so now if we add this fading class to our H1 tag, let's go back here, H1 class, say so fade in. You can see we get a nice fade in effect when we reload our page. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is make this div disappear, say two seconds once the DOM content's been loaded on our website. So this will be done with JavaScript. So let me just, this stuff's not important anymore. So we'll just start a new, set a new variable up, up here called const, say splash. So to get that div equals document <coughs> dot query selector. And we'll just say dot splash. Okay. <coughs> now the next thing we want to do here is we want to add a timeout function. So to do that, we're just going to say, well, the first thing we want to do is add the, the event listener to the actual web, web page. So we'll say to the document, so say document dot add event listener. And we're going to add DOM content loaded. Okay, and then what this is going to do, it's going to take in so we'll pass the event into a function, do an arrow function here. 
And we're going to use the set timeout function here. And so what we want to do is we're going to say we'll pass. Um, let's do another function in there. And we're going to set so splash dot class list dot add. And for now, I'll just say display none. We're going to make this class in the CSS in a second. Okay. And then, so no, we just need to set the time out to, say, two seconds. Yeah, two seconds. <clears throat> okay, let's just see if that's working. Don't seem to have any errors, so that's good. So now if we add this class, so what I'm going to do here, we'll take this splash, we'll duplicate that, and we'll add that display none class. Dot display none. And what we're going to do here is just basically make the opacity at zero so it goes invisible. And we'll set the Z index to minus 10 so it falls behind everything. So Let's try this again. And you can see now when we reload our page, two seconds in, and then it goes. I want to make this slightly better as well if we do it at a transition to this. So we'll say display none, say transition, um, all 0.56. All right, let's try that again. It should have a nice fade out now. That looks better. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, that's how you create a very simple splash screen. Obviously, you can take this idea and you know advance on it, make it your own, add some uh, better animations. But that's just the basic gist of using vanilla JavaScript to create a simple splash screen for your website. Hope you got any. I hope you got some use out of this video. Thanks for watching again. Um, yeah, cheers, guys. See you soon.